Do you guys know that iPhone 12 is the best iPhone ever? That's what Tim Apple, I mean Tim Cook said when he launched the iPhone back in September 2020. It's a great phone, has got a lot of features I don't need to tell you about. You'll see countless reviews on the internet praising the camera, the screen, the battery, uh, the 5G capabilities and whatnot. While all that is great, what's not so great about this phone is the price. If you want an iPhone 12 in India, the minimum amount that you need to spend is Rs. 80,000 for the 64GB version. However, there is a way by which you can get the iPhone 12 for much, much cheaper than the MRP that you see on Flipkart, Amazon, the Apple Store and whatnot. No, I'm not telling you to get it in black. No, I'm not telling you to exchange your old phone to get the new iPhone 12. But there is one way by which you can get the iPhone 12 for as low as Rs. 47,000. This with Bill, one year India warranty and all the other jing bang that you get when you get an iPhone from the store. So how do you really get it for 47,000? What's the trick? Let's find out. I'm sure you would have seen that HDFC offers up to 6,000 rupees instant cash back when you buy an iPhone using an HDFC card. However, that 6,000 is not the only discount you can get using the HDFC card. But there is a way by which you can get it for a much cheaper price. So how do you get it? Well, to start off with, you need an HDFC card and not just any other credit card, but HDFC's Infinia credit card, which is the premium flagship credit card that HDFC has to offer. Now, if you have that card, great. It just makes it possible to get the phone for the price that I just described before. So if you have an Infinia, what do you really need to do? Now, you would be aware that HDFC has a 10x rewards program on the Infinia card. How it works is if you buy anything off of Smart Buy Portal, you get up to 10x reward points which is essentially 33% reward points uh, on any purchase that you make. So if you're getting anything for 10,000, you get 3,300 reward points back. And one reward point is equal to one rupee if you're booking a flight ticket or a hotel using these points on the HDFC Smart Buy portal. So for all practical purposes, I will be assuming that one point is equal to one rupee when we're calculating this huge discount uh, that we're just talking about. Yes, it's, it's not direct apples to apples comparison, but if you tend to travel a lot, it is as good as uh, the same amount of money as the reward points you get. Now, but when you're buying anything off of the uh, Infinia card using the 10x reward point system, there's usually a monthly cap of 15,000 reward points. Uh, that's the accelerated reward points that you can get in a month and it's capped at 15,000 points. However, there is a window every month where SDFC just loosens that cap uh, to approximately 30,000 points if you meet certain requirements which we're gonna just describe. This window usually opens up between 20th to 30th of every month and within this window you can get up to 30,000 reward points on any purchase that you make off of Amazon. While on a usual day if you buy anything on Amazon using Infinia card from the Smart Buy portal you only get 5x reward points but within this special window you get up to 10x reward points on anything that you buy off of Amazon. So that's 33% right off the bat but if you also buy anything that's over 50,000 rupees you get additional 15x points yes that's 50% discount on the spend you're making above 50,000. So let's say you're getting an iPhone 12 in this case. It retails for 79,990, but for simplicity's sake, let's assume it's for 80,000 on Amazon. Now, when you're making that purchase on Amazon using the Smart Buy portal, the first thing you'll see is that you get 6,000 rupees shaved off of the MRP just by using any HJFC card. So that's 74,000 right off the bat over there. But if you're using an Infinia card, you can get additional 27,000 points with that purchase as well. How that works is, let's say if you have an Infinia card and you haven't used it for any other uh, 10x purchase in that month. So essentially you have 15,000 points that, that are valid or that you can use uh, for any purchase in that month. So up to a purchase of 50,000, you right away get 50,000 points on that purchase. And within this window, when you're getting 15x points on any purchase or, or the purchase amount above 50,000, which in this case amounts to rupees 24,000, given that the phone is for 74,000, you get 50% points. So that's 12,000 additional points. So all in all, if I look at the uh, total discount that I get, uh, 6,000 rupees I just get right away simply because of using the uh, HDFC credit card. Uh, and I get additional 27,000 points as reward points when I'm making this purchase in that window. If I add all of that up, it amounts to rupees 33,000. And, and the total MRP that I'm paying for an iPhone 12, a brand new iPhone 12, is just rupees 47,000. 
Now, by all means, that is a great, great deal. You will not even get an iPhone for that cheap, even if you get it off from US, or you buy it when, when Apple starts manufacturing it in India and the price is expected to come down. There's no caveat, you still get the bill, you still get the warranty, and all of the features that you would have gotten had you purchased it for 80,000. It's a pretty cool win. But in case you don't have an Infinia card, and let's say if you have a Diners Black card, which is another premium card that HDFC has to offer, you can still get a pretty good amount of discount. How much that is? Let's find out. So Diners Black has a monthly cap of 7,500 points on the Accelerated Reward Program. However, in the same offer period that I described before, HDFC loosens that cap to 15,000 points if you're purchasing anything above 50,000 and you get 15% accelerated points on, on the same purchase. So how it works is you get 7,500 points up to anything purchased up to 50,000 and up to 7,500 more points at 15x rate if you purchase anything above 50,000. So in this case, we still get that 6,000 rupees discount using an SGFC card. We get 7,500 points up to 50,000 and we get 7,500 additional points on the purchase above 50,000. And for the amount that is not eligible for the accelerated program, you still get about 1,000 reward points. So all in all, if I add that up, it adds up to 6,000 plus 15,000 points that are accelerated plus 1,000 points that are not accelerated. So all of this adds up to 22,000 rupees. And when you look at the final amount that you're paying, for the iPhone 12, it is just 58,000 rupees. So what's the catch here? Uh, well, first of all, you need an HDFC Infini or a Dynas Black card, which in itself is not an easy task. So the other thing that you need to keep in mind is that whenever you're looking to buy that iPhone 12 using the scheme, you need to make sure that you're not using the Accelerated Rewards program for anything else in that month. So you can't get anything off of Flipkart or Amazon or any of those other things that are eligible for the Accelerated Reward program in that month and you have to keep that entire amount saved up just for the iphone 12 purchase but i still think it's a pretty great deal you get an iphone for 47,000 rupees and that's almost in the trade tree of one plus and of course iphone being an iphone is much better than any other phone in that budget so i hope you found this video useful if you did please hit the subscribe button and have a great day